So in the, during the, so this is the, actually the lab section. Um, during the lab period, what I want to do is um, do the um, exam three review. Um, so I, because it's been a while since we've done chapter seven, and this is actually the um, majority of your exam, I want to remind you of the things that you are supposed to know. So really, you can think of your exam as being um, exam content as being centered, where's my laser pointer? Um, you can think of your exam content as being centered around chapter seven. That's the big core of the, your exam and centered around chapter seven. Some of the things will go back to chapter six, which we already covered, but some of the basic content to, from chapter six, you still can't forget them because they are closely related. And we will, you need to know things from chapter eight. Um, but you want really, need, well, there's no detailed calculation I can ask you of out of chapter eight. If I ask you of any detailed calculation, it won't be three dimensional. It will be some two dimensional version of it. So, um, so that's the majority of your exam, like 70% of your exam, centered around the chapter seven with the uh, um, contents in chapter six and bigger portion in eight that you ought to know. Chapter nine, we are skipping entirely. <coughs> and chapter 10 and 11, so this is, I guess, what I want to avoid. I don't want you to be over-focused on chapters 10 and 11, which we are just now covering, for which problem sets will be posted tonight, and you'll be only responsible for those that get posted by tonight with some definition of night, 4 a.m. Um, so, these combined will probably be at most 30% of your exam. And even that 30% estimate is really including uh, with the particle physics, some of the decays, it's really more of a special relativity question than um, particle physics question. And um, you saw that in the post the sample exam free form question. So really what you might want to do is, especially if you didn't feel like you had a good strong foundation when we did it for exam two, you might actually want to go back and review um, these relative stick momentum and energy sections of chapter five. Uh, that's really, um, so I just want to lay that out at the beginning so that you don't over focus on chapter 10 and 11. As interesting as they are, um, this is not a particle physics, nuclear physics class. It's a modern physics class. And the core elements of modern physics are special relativity and quantum mechanics, mostly non-relativistic quantum mechanics. 